Hello again everyone, Brett back finally High Altitude Scale Modeling with part 23, yes, finally after ooh, five months we are doing part 23 of the Airfix B-17, 172B-17 build diorama vehicles I have been working on it and there'll be other parts like the diorama part will be all put together there's like three parts come so far I've been working on the figures these guys that are going in the diorama there'll be a part with that I wanted to show you where I was on the diorama base and it's annoying me it's a uh, standard 1 by 12 this is AK Terrain Cement, very good product. This is just the foam painted with, oh, I'm sorry, Woodland Scenic Spurt Number. Now I've been putting this down, smoothing it out, making a mess of course because it's all going to be covered with some, I don't have it with me, some AK soil and things like that. This is actually the border of the land right here, and there's another corner here. It's raised a little bit, and this will all be smoothed out, so I've been sanding this smooth. See? What I should have done is built some wooden sides up, as high as I wanted the cement, on both sides, and then like a concrete layer and just smoothed it all out. But I didn't do that because I'm not a concrete layer. So these edges, you can see, slopped over the side. So I'm going to be cleaning this up, cleaning this up. There's some, again, this is supposed to curve around like this, and this is all going to be grass and soil and some bushes. And then from here this way, there's going to be some grass. There's a little hill back here. There might be a building up here. So the base is taking me much longer. But this is... Yellow insulation foam, you can buy at any hardware store. And I run a hardware store, so I can get it easy. Glued to the wooden base. When I'm done, I'll be using some balsa wood trim all the way around. I got my vehicles over there, and I need to show any of them because they haven't changed any since you saw it last. So I've been working on it off and on. What we're going to do today, because we're at that point, there's a little decal work on the B-17. Let me adjust this this way. Maybe come down a little bit. Move another light back over here. Just a slight little bit. So, decaling. We are doing the Thunderbird version. Got lots of requests for that. These decals here I have on order. I have just ordered them today because I thought I had them and I didn't. So, we won't be doing those decals. But we'll be doing these decals. And we'll be doing the kit Airfix decals because the Kits World decal sheet comes with the markings and stuff to do the Thunderbird. And then all the insignia and stuff are on here, and stencils, things like that. So, this is showing us hair fixes, stencil, and decal placement, which we will be doing. And yeah, detailing is kind of time consuming. Oh, almost threw my decals in my pot of water. So, this is a blank CD lid that I use for my water. It's warm but not hot. I have many decal setting solutions, Microsol and Set, which work very well. Uh, Solve a Set, which works very well. For this one, I'm going to be trying the new, well they're not new anymore, but they're new for me, UMP setting solutions. Normal, strong, extra strong, Paul's done many videos on them, so there's nothing I can teach you. Got my brush, got my Tamiya decal tweezers, 
Got my scissors I only use for decals. Got some Q-tips for soaking up the water. So, let's get started. Now, I always put a little microsol in my water. Just because. That's what I do. I learned it from six or seven different modelers. Move this over here. These are here. And of course, we're going to start with the normal. And the reason I'm using those is because I've never used them before. And in a month or so, or a couple weeks, it'll be clear why I use UMP products. Along with many other great modeling products. Now, I haven't touched this for a while. So, I'm going to clean airbrush. Make sure your airbrush is clean and doesn't have any liquid in it. So blow it off first. And then, there's an extra precaution for my own benefit. Tamiya's anti-static brush. Just because I like to be safe. Okay. So. Now, the insignias are the same, squadron markings are not, walkways are the same. So I think all we need in the airfix one is the insignias and the stencils which we aren't putting on yet because the props aren't ready, and the walkways. So, let's them all out. I hope everyone's surviving this lockdown stuff. I have not been posting many videos because, as many of you know, I run a hardware store. Hardware stores are considered essential. Me and my employees, I've been able to keep them employed, have not had any extra time off. We've been working our normal schedules. We've all been staying healthy, practicing social distancing, wearing masks and gloves when appropriate, taking care of our customers. Our sales are running at a record pace right now because with everybody stuck at home, they all want to redo their houses. We've been selling lots of paint, lots of wood, lots of tools. It's winter up here, but it's starting to warm up a little bit, so we've been starting to sell bags of concrete. Not sure if I need those, but I do need those. And, of course, you know I also have a hobby store inside of the hardware store, and model kit sales are through the roof. Apparently everyone, fortunately, is rediscovering their love of building models because my model sales and my paint and sanders and washes and glues is also through the roof. Being a hardware store and a hobby store right now is obviously the right choice that was made several years ago because it's paying off now. Mostly I'm proud of my employees. They've all worked hard in a difficult time. They're risking exposure every day. And you know, we do live in a small high altitude mountain community and we only have eight confirmed cases in the county as of today, April 23rd, 2020, we've had no deaths in the county, and 
and everyone is being careful, but still not, not, that's the word I'm looking for. They're not being prisoners. They're not, they're staying in because we have a shelter at home thing. They're coming out for their essentials because we're right next door to a grocery store, so they can make one trip to us and the grocery store at the same time. Not have to make extra trips, and we're only two stores open in the whole county. And I'm, you know, I'm proud of the people who live here too, because they have taken very good care of each other, and very good care of following the guidelines to keep safe. I've had to make a couple of runs to Denver because we ran out of drywall, we ran out of some things that my customers needed, but I took that risk, was careful. Denver was a ghost town. I've never driven down there and not had a traffic jam. But anyway, that's our status during this whole thing. We're fine, we're doing well, we're working hard. I've kept my employees off the unemployment line. We've donated things to the town, to the advertising, to help other people. We're doing all right. That's why I haven't been putting up a lot of modeling videos. I have not, I'm still working 50 hours a week and I'm not unhappy about it at all. That only explains the last month of why this hasn't been done. The other four months was just me being lazy. But here we are, back again. I wanna get this done soon so we'll just have a chit chat while we're working on decals these are airfix decals so I'm not sure how good or bad they're gonna be with the wing with the wing where's my other brush I got another brush I use for this. I don't know where I put it. That's a bummer. It's got my water brush. That's okay. Ooh. It needs a little more soaking. I think we're going to soak them both. So I got the top and the bottom wing insignia. I hope everyone else has been doing well. If you follow me on my personal page, you know I bought a new Challenger. Traded in my old one. I keep moving up. Started with a V6, then went to a 5.7 liter V8. Now I'm at a 6.4 liter V8. And I think that's as high as I'm going to go because a Hellcat is just too much power for where I live. And without any straight roads as I tell people because I test drove a Hellcat it would just be a waste of car the Hellcat deserves more so I got a scat pack black is beautiful all right see loosened it up and it broke but that's okay Put that side down first, put this side down second, check our alignment on here, so it should be lower, it should be between second and fourth parts of the flap, line that up, it should be Slightly angled, but not that much. And I don't know if that's the air fix decal's fault or me pulling it off too hard. 
the water out from underneath carefully because I just got this all lined up the way I wanted it and I moved it again. Obviously we've taken the water out from underneath it, so I can want to move back. Unfortunately, it didn't shred, so I want to be more careful. Okay, we've got the normal UMP normal. Put it on the decal. Carefully around here. Leave it alone. Let it soak in. This one I left in the water a lot longer. It goes on the underside. Fortunately, have the opposite wing. Make sure you don't put your decal on the stand. Same thing between the second and fourth parts. Second and fourth parts of the flap line. This one ah, came off beautifully. So I'm thinking the last one was my fault, not Airfix's fault. Line it up. Check. 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 And just like that. The water out, the air bubbles out. It's more normal. You always want to start with your gentlest, best word I can think of, setting solution. If you start with your hardest core, you can end up biting you in the rear end. Okay. Put that back over. So the walkways I'm going to do last because I do not want to, while I'm moving this thing around, risk peeling them off. So then we're going to move to Kits World. Now they separate their decals for versions with these lines, so I'm just going to cut off the ones I need, save the rest of them if I ever do another 72nd D17. Which you never know. Or maybe someday I'll just donate them to somebody else building one. Okay. Now you've got B N U. Before I do that though, I'm gonna put these uh, the fuselage insignias on. everything goes around those. So let's move these over here. These are the decals for all the vehicles. It came with the kit for the diorama. So we're soaking those. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, Five for the walkway on both sides. Some people would have painted it. That would have required a lot of masking. I'd rather try the decals, and if they don't work, then I'll mask them up. Because, and I mean that in the because sense, not hey, because, I think it'll be easier to use the kit decals. And masking the whole thing up and I don't have the skills to freehand paint those What's that 
Get out of there. So. It goes here. Here. With the one corner, kind of in the corner of the waste gunner's window. Right above the gray, if I mask it correctly. Not quite ready to come off yet. Let's do this one that I left in the water longer. Nope. Your fixed decals want to fight. But that's okay. Because I'm in no rush. So I'm going to let them sit. Until they are truly ready to come off. And then what we got here is the nose art. The bombs, yep, the bomb run, the lettering, that's pretty much all we got. Like I said, these tail ones are coming in probably, we're them today being Thursday, I'd say Tuesday next week they'll be here. I did gloss coat this whole thing with aqua gloss. There's the ongoing debate about two gloss or not two gloss before decals. That is the question. I don't get involved in that debate. What are you comfortable with doing? Do it. That simple. I'm comfortable with doing it. Okay. A little way up the waist window. I have to go up a little more. And there we have it. Oops. Be careful when you're doing this. Oops. Be careful when you're doing this. If you move the decal, just if you need to wet it again, move it back. It's more setting solution. Turn around to the other side. With this, this one is going to go same thing, only opposite. Part way up the way Skinner's window to the door. Yeah, well, this one's ready because it sat there the longest. straight moved it again okay Setting solution. There we go. Who's it done? I think I'm going to start with the lettering. Unfortunately, it only shows lettering for it shows one side of the aircraft. See, that one moved. Now you got to be real careful because you got the setting solution on it. 
I'm pretty sure it moved because I touched it. More setting solution. And no, according to this, they do not line up. One is farther back than the other. So if you're looking at it straight down, one is this side of that window, one is this side of that window. So you're, they're not going to line up from above. And we are going to start the lettering and we're going to assume it does line, it can't line up. Well, it could. Let's see. K, K, behind the door. No, the lettering, the back lettering isn't going to line up at least. Sorry, I have to send a message to work. Alright, let's get these letters going. Now, these are not Airfix decals. So we are not going to put them in the water at the same time. Because I don't know how quickly they're going to want to go off. See those little the border line? I'd cut those off too because they'll start floating around your water and get under your decals and then look all weird. I've been building models while I'm away. I'm not, I haven't been sitting there. I got this for a Latin American group build that I just decaled and aqua glossed. So, I've been building. I got the Smoking the Bandit car going. I got the what else do I have? I might be at the smoking the bandit car in the trailer, that plane, this plane. Helicopter with Scott in my train, but hey. So we're going to go by. The K goes right along this one panel line right there. So we're going to do the same thing with the U right there. Oh, these didn't come off any quicker. Soak a little more. And it looks like the top of the U is level with the top of the window. But the B and N are a little higher than the window. Yep, those need a little more, so we're going to stick these in, too. Alright. Still a little tight on there. I don't want to force it off. Let it sit a little longer. And this U is on here. And this 2 is on here. So I'm not going to be putting those on until I get the C and the serial number. Which will be coming as well. There we go. Hard to do a plane like this at an angle where everybody can see what I'm doing. There we go, slipped right off of there. So I'm running it right along the panel line. 
right to the top of the window. Water out. Setting solution on. B and the N are going right here. They together are separate. They are separate. B N. They go a little higher. Or even to one another and straight. So so we're gonna start being careful where you pick things up. setting solution making sure everything is straight to everything else which it's not right now which put setting solution on touching them is a bad thing but they're straight now more on there. There are panel lines I need to sit into. Okay, and we do the other side. Alright. Go up already. Okay. On the door side, the key touches the edge of the door. Like I said, these only show one one side. So we're going to go by what the one other one says. Get it wet. Do you on? Straighten it up so it's straight and lined with the door and the U lines across at the top of the waste gunner's window like it did on the other side. Be careful where I pick up. Make sure it's parallel to the door, which it is. And then the B and the N, we are going to try and line up with the B and the N on the other side. <gasps> See that? Touched it wrong. B came off the other side. This is why I don't edit much, so you guys can see when I screw up. I didn't tear it, fortunately. Just gonna have to work with it. Putting some weight on that wingtip. Now, let's do this. I'm glad I noticed that. I was gonna be going, where'd my B and my N go? And then I'm not gonna be lining it up with those other ones. Maybe I am. Because it does look like WF on that side. It's in the same position as WF on this side. So I'm going to line them both up. Make sure they're straight. Make sure they're lined up top to bottom. And then they're lined up with each other. And then they're lined up with the panel lines. Right. 
Get some water out from underneath. Make sure we're all lined up like we want before we get our setting solution. And it moved just a little bit, but not enough to cause a problem. Okay. I'm trying to screw up the other side again. too high. Okay. Think I'm gonna challenge. Alright. Sit her down. Hmm. So, let's cut this off. This off. 22s are being saved for later. And I need that, and I need a Thunderbird. And again, cut these dotted lines off. Or else they'll float in your water. Float under your decals. Thunderbird. Bomb run. So looking at my online references, the Thunderbird on both sides is right here. The bombs on this side are here and the bombs on this side are all the way up front. So we have a mask here, here, and here, and the Thunderbird's gonna go under those two windows right there. Perfect. Soak for another minute. Take a drink of coffee. Wet this up. Wet this up. Not quite. Not quite. And then we're going to do. One side of the walkway is on camera, and then the other side, not on camera, because I don't want to bore the heck out of you watching me do both sides. So this side, first one is 49, which is this one. I always start with the longest one, because if I screw up the longest one, then I might as well just give up on the rest of them. Again, cutting the number off. Not putting it in the water yet. Get up here. Alright, Thunderbird goes right there under both those windows. Straight. Bomb run goes. Oh, there's three of them, separate. They go here. Lined up.
so we're going to be careful rolling it out since you just lined it up. And once again, setting solution. Carefully turning around. Cut the use off and this has got the crew's name on it right there, which goes under the bomb run. Soaking. And because I don't want to risk ripping it, I'm gonna soak the first walkway. Get it started because we know Airfix decals are not easy. This, you see, it's starting to bed down in the indentations. I don't know if you can see it, but it's starting to bed down into all those areas. If you think you need to, you add a little more. Setting solution. I'll do the other side in a minute. Ah, almost touched it again. Everything's still straight though. Oops, I just forgot to put my water down. Under those two windows and across the top right there. This one goes all the way to the nose. So, Thunderbird under the windows centered. Run. And crew names. Okay. Carefully pick it up and line everything up. Carefully setting solution. Oops, I didn't take the water out. Now, carefully add the setting solution. All right. So the walkway we're doing is on this side. Let's turn it. doing this one. Forty nine runs right along here. This panel line right there. Okay, let's take it out. And what's the next one we're gonna need? Thirty five. So, three, five. I'm gonna find the rest of my. There we go. Yep, this one's 35, so we're gonna cut it off, put it in the water. So it might be easier to. Just 
carefully on the blade between them. Or maybe not. The blade doesn't want to go straight because it's not new. All right, we're gonna put this in the water. We're gonna get our brush, our water, right along this panel line. We're gonna hope these stay in one piece. We're gonna put it along the panel line, slide it out. Carefully pick up. Straighten it out. Runs right up to the engine they sell. For straight, we don't do that. We try and carefully get the water out. Without moving. I could have done twice now. Okay. One success. Take this one out of the water. And then we need 37 soaking. There's the 37 on here. 40, 43. Oh. Mix 37. That one right there. This one runs along that panel line right there. That panel line right there. It's good that they're following panel lines, which makes sense because they would have riveted the strength right along the structural part. Again, if this one comes apart, it's because I cut it with a knife when I started to take it off. Quite ready. We do not want to rush those. Then we need 49, which is going to be I think I'm missing a couple. Hit. Not on there. Forty, forty three. Forty goes there. Oh, forty nine's already done. So we need forty and forty four. Now we're cooking. All right, let's try this again. One side is really loose and one side's not. All right. Brush. Sometimes I find just playing with it like it's a little snake. Run it back and forth. Straighten it out. And you want to find your panel line. And 
Take your brush. And straight along the panel line. Carefully taking water off. See, I moved it. Stop falling apart and getting stuck. It's time to move on. Okay, and setting solution. I don't know if I did with this one, but I'm doing it now again. Okay, so. We've got 37 soaking, and we need 40, which is still in here. In the water, out of the water. You saw I just moved that one. There we go. Oops. That's what I wanted to do. More water there. And then which one goes on the inside? 44. 44. Right there's 44. There's 40. Not quite ready to come off. Then we'll be done. 40 here, 44 here. And this side walkway will be done. And this video that's now lasted almost an hour will be done. Again, I don't want to force it. So that was one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There's my five for the other side. Oops. You have angles.
on both ends. So you want the angles to go on the right. Another bit of water right there. I miss cartograph decals on things like this. Not quite lined up. There we go. these perfect size too. Sometimes you get walkways that just don't fit right. There you go. Got a little not quite straight right there. But I don't know if I want to mess with it. And risk ripping it. So on this side, I just might have to live with it's a little bit crooked. So, setting solution on the whole thing. A little bit crooked, but I'm going to live with that because it's my model. Maybe they had to repaint it. They didn't paint it right. So there you have it. There's first part of the decaling. Like I said, when I get these decals in, I will post another decal video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being patient. Thanks for all your kind words. Let's take a look around. You got your Thunderbird, your lettering, your lettering, your Thunderbird, top insignia, bottom insignia, and I'm going to work on the other walkway. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves in this crazy time.